Hello and welcome to another mono game tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be porting my game from Ludum Dare Death Plot to Windows 8 Metro using mono game. So the first thing you want to do once you have obviously Visual Studio 2013 and the game that you want to port and .NET Framework and all of that, and what you have to have Windows 8 is you want to go to the mono game codeplex, which is monogame.codeplex.com, and the link will be in the written tutorial. And you want to go to Downloads, and download the latest version, which for me is 3.0.1. So you want to get the one for Visual Studio 2010 slash 2012. If you're on Visual Studio 2013, you actually want to go to build.monogame.net slash job slash develop dot or dash win, and download the latest installer. So mine is from January 30th, monogameinstaller-3-2.exe. I actually do not have the latest installer, I have one from earlier in January, but no matter. Now in Visual Studio 2013, mine's Ultimate Years will probably be Express for Windows. You want to go to New Project, Monogame, if you installed the installer, the templates should be here. Uh, Windows Store SAM or Windows Store Project, depending on what you want. Death Plot 8. RT, because it's also for RT. And I'll create that. It. You can also retarget it to 8-1, because that. 8.1. Why do I say dash? 8.1, because standard leads Windows 8. So, anyway, let's test this. You can test in the simulator or just a local machine. So, whoops, I actually did local machine. Okay, well, I'll test in the local machine so you can see the generic blue screen showing that the templates worked, as you can see. Stop debugging. Now we can actually add content. What you want to add is not the content from the content folder, but you want to go to bin, x86, debug, content, and get your content from here. You want the x and b's. So we have those now. Now we want to add the code itself. So go back to your project folder, go to where the code is. Do not add program, you want to keep the default mono game program. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, you want to keep the default mono game program.cs file. Game one already exists, do you want to replace it? Yes. And you can see you have it. It's not going to build because the namespace is different. So go to any one of your classes and make sure all the namespaces are the same. Apply it to all items. Now when you build it's gonna fail, but that's because GamePad has no vibration in the current mono game build I'm using. It might have it in the actual release, but it doesn't in mine. So I'm just gonna erase the vibration for now. Because it's not important. You could figure out how to fix it, but that's not the purpose of this tutorial. So next we want to try to debug it. I'll do it in the simulator so I can show you that. And there's going to be an issue because you cannot load textures. Bullet player one is a non-content file. What you want to do is in every single asset you want to go to its properties and set it to content copy if newer. So where's bullet player one? Content copy if newer. If we test in the simulator, it's not gonna give the error for bullet player one anymore. See now the error's for player bullet two. So you have to do that for every single content file you have. So I'll be back when I'm done with that. As you can see, we've done that. So now if we run in the simulator, you see the game. We can also simulate a touch mode with basic touch mode, pinch zoom touch mode, rotation touch mode. 
But I don't actually have touch controls. So let's see how this works. As you can see, not very well. There's still bugs that need to be fixed, as you can... Well, clearly tell. But we do have it working somewhat. If we can also test in the local machine, which is the machine you're running it on, obviously. And we notice this issue. I'm actually having this issue on the Windows Phone version of the game. So, hold on, this volume's rather loud. I'm having the issue on the Windows Phone version of the game, so it's not even an issue with the mono game port. Oh, I know what the issue is. That's because of the way I do bounds. So it has nothing to do with this video. In fact, your game will probably work. And I figured out how to fix that, so that's great for me. Anyway, that's how you port your game to Windows 8.1 in Mono Game. Or Windows 8. This one's Windows 8, not 8 1. Why, does, why is this open? So, so that's how you port to Windows 8 slash 8.1 slash RT. If you want to publish it to the Windows Store, you need $19, which also allows you to publish to the Windows Phone Store. And you can get that, the developer registration at this page right here, which I will link in the blog post for this video. So that's how you port to Windows 8, and I'll see you in the next video. Next one will probably be Linux, incidentally.